Yes, good evening, everybody. Well, at this stage last season, Galway United were a first division club and Bohemians were top of the Premier Division after winning six of their opening seven matches. Safe to say a lot has changed in the last 12 months. Galway are now back in the big time and they begin the night here three points clear of tonight's opponents. Perfect evening. Long troll coming into the box now. This will be a testy one. That Bohemians defence in real pace. Bruder was the player trying to help it on. And it just opened for Hurley. Just as he was about to pull the trigger, the block came in. And it was a really important block. He was the right player in the right position, Hurley. But he could not get the clean strike away. Yeah, just for half a second, I thought David Hurley was going to volley this into the back of the net. It's a wonderful, wonderful block from the Bows. Right back, I couldn't quite see who it was. Here's Hurley again. No. That one has uh, gone behind for the goal kick. That, that's really disappointing. You see from the long throw, they put the ball into the box from the long throw. They win force contact. Second. It's in a pace with that left foot. Oh, and it's gone in the back of the net. It's a super header by Mills. Wicked delivery. And how about that for a header? Wonderful goal for Bohemians all round. And Mills has his first goal for Bohemians, and what a way to open your account. It's a wonderful header from Mills to beat Clark in the Galway goal. Such an experienced goalkeeper. It'd have to be a brilliant header. And the ball comes in here from Rooney. Initially, I thought it was a poor ball in. It's edge of the box. It's behind all the all the Bowes players. He meets a flush on his head. Mills, it's a wonderful, wonderful header. Well, the delivery from Rooney, as we said at the time, with so much pace on it, it was so inviting, and he wasn't going to need asking twice. So far, it was Mills going their way. Akatunde, Matheson, look how far forward he is. Thought he had the beating of Kazim and didn't do so. Fullback against fullback, cuts inside, does Kazim. And too much traffic there in the end. The referee says play will continue. It's Clark, good ball back across. Super save by Clark. It was Conley, the player who scored the winner in the cup last year. Super effort, and how about that for a save by Brendan Clark? A big save to keep Galway in this one. Yeah, it's a brilliant save from Clark. You see here, so for so long, Galway have just been playing that ball into the channel. They mess around with it here. For me, I don't think it's a foul. Clark picks it up really well. Troy is at the Galway centre half, plays it across. Conley. Shifts it out of his feet straight away, just feeds it into that top corner. Clark sees it deep at the moment. There's a runner into that central area. It was Asua, the uh, right full back. Derrifa now, he's done well. Back towards Asua. There's a bit of traffic in between. Borden with the effort. Bohemians cleared away for now, and the shot and goal is gathered by the goalkeeper. It was Ed McCarthy with the effort, and it is smothered by the Bohemians goalkeeper. That's good play by Galway. It's a lovely big Doyag over to Anto Dervin. Dervin does really well, wiggles away from Paddy Kirk, tries to pull it back to the edge of the box. Oh, he is chasing their second goal. Just one in there, the header on the back post, and they scored. It is a wonderful header. Akatunde with the goal, 2 0 Bohemians. And all the positive play by Galway early in this second half has been whipped away. It's another super delivery. And it's another header that has led to the second goal in this game for Bohemians. The Bohemians players go straight over to the bench to Alan Reynolds. You can see John Caulfield in the Galway bench. He'll be absolutely livid. The second goal they've conceded from a set piece. It's Akatunde. He's not the biggest man on the pitch. Doesn't even jump to have to go and win the header. It's really, really poor defending from a team that are really good defensively. Akatunde should never win that header there. It's a brilliant header once he does win it. Fires it flush off, the, off his forehead. Brendan Clark, no chance in the oh, goal. Yeah. We've got day two from the Grand National Festival. And the big race itself is on Saturday, April the 13th from 1 o'clock. And more League of Ireland action to bring you later on this month. The beating of Shelburne against Shamrock Rovers. As that one is flicked on and just about cleared away. Now Galway need a goal. And they almost got it from the set play, and a real scramble here 
Keith to get it away for Bohemians. As soon as the shot comes off here, never looked comfortable at all, but just gets prodded towards there. It's a brilliant header. It's heroic. Dangerous one in. Can they get the turn? Can they get the shot away? They can do so. The block was made. Another dangerous ball in towards Hickey. Can't get there. There comes the shot. And it was Walsh. But unlike Friday night when he scored and Derry, he just couldn't get that far enough away from the goalkeeper. That's a good chance for somebody who wants his ability. He's always at a lid up as soon as this drop back out on. See here. A block by Bohemians. They've taken the goals well, they've defended well as well, the Bohemians. And there's been plenty of questions asked upon them, as there was there. Good delivery in. Walsh, as you would expect, was there at the near post. I'm not sure if the if Mills maybe just gets a little deflection on this. It's a lovely little ball in. Egan Donnie whips it in there. Alan Reynolds has his first victory as the Bohemians manager in just his second game in charge. The perfect response for Bohemians to that. 3-1 loss against Shamrock Rovers on Friday night. Rooney very much to the fore. Super delivery for the opening goal for Mills. A header on 21 minutes. And just shy of the hour mark, Akatunde with a equally impressive header with Rooney heavily involved.